This would be a lot easier with a CNC. I'm going to be working with some pieces of reclaimed white oak for this project, and the first thing I need to do is clean up one face of each piece. The belt sander makes quick work of this. They won't be perfect, but they'll be good enough. Now that I have two mostly flat faces, I should be able to glue these up into one piece. Clamp it, let it set up, and then unclamp it. It's onto the table saw next to get the side square. Then I'll resaw the bottom to flatten it up too. The chop saw squares up the other edges. So I took some time to set this up. I've got my piece of oak clamped in here. I'm gonna use the straight edge of my table saw and this piece of scrap wood as a second straight edge. This gets everything spaced out just the way I want it so I can go and plow out the inside of this with my router. I'll show you. This is the kind of repetitive process that a CNC would help with. I'm using a cove bit here and lowering the bit a little bit at a time going around two sides then I'll flip it and repeat the process for the other two sides. Now that I have the outside cut and the profile that I want, I need to plow out the inside here. And this sled that I made for my board flattening jig should work pretty well. It actually fits just about perfectly on this just by coincidence. So I can run the router back and forth in this direction and chew up most of what's inside here. Again, it's another slow, tedious process, lowering the bit a little bit at a time. This time it's a straight cutting bit. Now that I have the bowl section or tray section plowed out, I want to lighten up the edges and kind of lighten up the profile overall. And to do that, I'm going to use my table saw. I cut in the bevel on all four sides, even though I only show the long sides here on camera. After that, I used a round over bit to clean up the top edges. You can see where I nicked the edge with the router bit. I was able to clean up most of that with sandpaper. Finished sanded it, used a couple of coats of low gloss tongue oil, and it really came out nice. I'm sure there's a better way I could have done this, maybe making use of a template cutting jig. My little router just isn't set up to do that. I was really joking about doing this project with a CNC. I don't have one. I don't have any CNC experience, but it seems like you just create one tool path and it would cut it out pretty quickly. You could batch these out and it seems like the kind of thing that would sell pretty well at a craft fair. This one here was a Christmas gift. I made it big enough that you could maybe throw the mail in it, throw your keys in it, set it by the door, use it as kind of a catch-all when you walk in the house. More stuff to come. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I've got plenty of other videos you can check out while you're here. And thank you very much for watching.